Hello, welcome to another StarCast TV cast. This is Seriosity, and today we're going to be casting Light Against Snow, a best of three. Starting off on map one, we're on Optimizer. We have Light spawning in the top left corner and Snow in the bottom right, or bottom left. The map is Optimizer, very unique map. Double gas mains, but we also have Naturals with an, uh, four extra mineral patches, all very low. So they can be mined to open up a seven separate path to access this back base. But since they spawn vertically, that base is between them and this will actually open up another attack avenue. We have light with the depot with the barracks between these two buildings. You'll have a very nice sim city and we have snow. No gateway quite yet. Very interesting. We see another probe made, it's gonna be, yep, it's gonna be Nexus first from Snow. Although a rush distance on this map, it's not that small. And it is a four player map, so there's about a one in three chance light skeleton first. Snow playing the odds there. And here we go. Probe heading towards the natural, it's gonna make that Nexus. And light. Sending out that early SCV scout only after getting 9 on minerals. And it looks like he's gonna scout Snow first. Snow heading out with that probe. Looks so, yeah, let's see where that probe is going. Nope. Okay, light. Okay, so that was interesting. Snow duping light there, acting like his probe was coming from over here. So now light is going to check the bottom right instead of right where snow is. Interesting probe maneuver there from snow. Really throwing off light. Light was going to get that first scout. Now he's going to not scout him. Possibly get a second or even third scout. Disastrous uh, result there for light. But it's only the early game. Let's see snow's follow up to the 12 lights. It's going to be second gateway. And then you can see he's not going to make any more pylons. This Nexus will give him that extra supply. You know, basically, two follow ups to 12 nights, one with one gate and one with two. The two gateway is safer, but Snow is gonna have to cut probes through this. But the fact that he's getting up that really fast second Nexus will make up for these early probe cuts. And you can see Light is not scouting Snow until uh, he's gonna scout Snow last. So that probe maneuver there really, really threw off Light. Here we have one Zolop being made, Cybernetics Core on the way. And light went for that command center. It's actually a very delayed gas, but this gas does allow him to get uh, the factory faster than it would with one racks expend. It slows down his command center a little, but get that faster factory up. Now we have light scouting snow last, and it's gonna be one zealot into dragoons. Core is already up. Here's another probe cut, but this is all necessary to get your units out in time. Now we're going to see Light finally scouting Snow. He's going to see the bad news. It's in a 12 Nexus that he's scouting last. We're going to try to get in the main, see what he has in here, how many gateways. We're going to see two gateways. Core is on the way spinning with that plus one, or that Dragoon range. Could be plus one, but not very likely with 12 Nex. Also see Snow's mining these mineral patches, opening up that path. Even against 12 next, Terran does need to get up that bunker. And we have a two factory follow up from Light. Because he saw Snow, it's full main, he doesn't have to worry about any kind of fast tech. He can get that second factory pretty fast. Already falling off that barracks to block. And the SCV with that full retreat. And let's see what Snow's follow up is. Just pylons for now. Looks like he was supplied like there for a little bit. And there's the robotics from Snow. Second gas immediately. And second gas from Light as well. Seize before any units. And there's the first tank in production. He's opening up this path really quickly. See, it's already about a quarter of the way done. Snow's is as well. And Snow sending a probe to that third base. Like wrapping around with that SCV, he really wants to scout the third climbing from Snow. Another depot heal here just to add some blocking. Black 
going out to fully scout. SCB heading, and he's gonna be able to scout or at least deny the start base from snow. And Light is just making tanks really fast, already has one tank. Eve block, so very secure and natural now for Light. And just observatory for stone. Two gateways up. No third gateway, no reaver tech quite yet. He doesn't have this fast second gas. Okay, I see what Snow is up, uh, light is up to light. Wants to use this tank to harass these pros, make sure they're not mining. Make sure Snow can't mine out this mirror path. It's very nice, already some light harassment, but really denying Snow from accessing these mineral patches so they can open up a separate path. You see how Light did this? He put a tank right here and he tricked it through. Very cute. Snow is getting a shuttle and he's gonna follow up with Riri. He will be able to deflect this pretty easily. Barracks being utilized to scout. And Snow is actually taking the bottom right as his third base. And I like this. These bases are much more secure against drop on this map. There's high grounds here that can be dropped. And here comes two Dragoon from Snow, and he will be able to shoot away these tanks. Light still just making tanks as an armory, and he's going up to four factories. Here comes a Reaver follow up from Snow, already has the tech to do so. Getting speed as well. And this barracks looks like it's a little bit exposed. Will Light be able to save it? Looks like Snow's not going to commit. And here comes a probe transfer to Snow's new third base. Now Light has very little in the way of map presence. He doesn't have any vultures. Won't have speeds or mine. Doesn't have scans quite yet. He's going to be uh, somewhat unaware of this. He assumes Snow has the third base here. Most likely this one. And Light is setting up for a 6 factory push. With plus 1 he's getting speed and mines. Getting some anti-air. This would be very good against shuttles. You can see it's very hard for a reaver to get into this natural. Observer hasn't gone in the main to see what Light is up to. Four gateways from Snow, fifth gateway and Citadel. There's a Reaver in the shuttle. Another Observer and another Reaver. So it's gonna be a big investment. And this will help against the timing attacks. He's very low on Observers. First Observer finally goes in the main to see that timing is coming. And Snow has to prepare. Looks like he's gonna counter with this shuttle. There's not that much anti-air defense in the main. Light stopping SCV production. And it looks like he's gonna attack through the inside path. Which Snow has finally been able to mine out. This will help Snow in defending this base. And there's a Reaver in the main. Speed already done. SCV's trying to. What are they doing? What are they doing? They're just getting stuck there. Natural has a lot of turrets. Snow has to be careful here. And looks like he wasn't expecting these two turrets on the south side. And now this reaver will be taken down. You see only one tank here, but the SCVs with that post around are able to kill that reaver. And the tanks are at slow back pressuring. Has to be careful here. He's on the low ground. But there aren't any zealots to drop on these tanks. It is only just tanks. And the high ground mischance does help out the dragoons. We were coming in for support. It's still building scarabs. And it gets targeted immediately by light. We're just coming in to support these tanks finally. There's only two tanks, only one can actually range the units. But this is a ton of complete vultures in Snow's main. You can see his macro slipping a little bit here. His base is completely undefended, but he has no idea that there's one cannon in the main, but these two vultures on the bottom side are able to harass. Tank actually, look at this range from this tank. It's actually ridiculous. More vultures getting into the natural. Snow realizing he has to bring everything back. He's bringing these two dragoons. He has to be careful with mines. More gateways going up for Snow. 
And these tanks unfortunately get cut off by those two Dragoons randomly coming from the right side. And they get picked off. That was actually a huge pick off their force though. He has to be careful with the mines. Nexus is two shots away. One shot away. And it falls. And now Light is going to bottom right. Somehow. He sensed it. He's already scouting it with one harassing probes. Two cannons will be enough to defend from six vultures, but top cannon doesn't protect the mineral line very well. One of the vultures goes down. No pack panicking and adding cannons. He's bringing back the dragoons. This vultures actually didn't lay any mines, so these dragoons will be able to get here. More vultures heading out across the map. And it looks like uh, Snow finally defended his natural. He did lose the nexus. There's a starport going up for light. It's like light just targeting the probes now. It's actually a very tense moment in the game for Snow. If he can somehow hold on, maybe he can come back. But he's losing so many probes. Scan going to see what tech Snow has, and he's gonna see. Oh, unfortunately, Dragoons went down to mines. Gonna see Snow still only on Citadel Tech, nothing further. There's the Reaver. Gonna be shuttled out. This is very important. One of the comeback uh, options he has is to get damage done with his Reaver. The Reaver also allows him to buy time so he can build up his probe count. Looks like the Dragoons did go down to the Vultures, and now another Nexus is being threatened by three Vultures. They will take a while to kill it. And here come the Dragoons. And there's a shuttle in the main, but tons of mines being laid. Turrets are getting added anywhere. Light knows his position is very. Good, he's just playing very safe. This is about 200 HP. Dragoons running over here. They have to clear the mines first. Vultures just targeting that Nexus. Looks like they are. Dragoons are going to be able to save it. Now, this is very exposed. Any kind of drop of tanks will kill this Nexus instantly. So, no will have to leave. Defense is there. Nice block at the natural. He doesn't have any units quite yet. Dragoon slightly out of position, and it looks like Light again is attacking through the inside with the tanks, and now some Goliaths, and it's going to be very hard for Snow to defend. He still has only mostly Dragoons in his army, knows all it's quite yet. Knows all it's speed, plus one armor, almost done for Light. And let's see how Snow decides to engage this. Tanks will be on the low ground, it does help those Dragoons, and here come some more Vultures wrapping around. They are going to be able to target this Nexus, I think. Good multitask by Light. Hitting two Nexuses at once. Looks like, oh, Snow just barely gonna be able to defend 16 HP on that Nexus. And what is he gonna do? Is he just gonna counter here? His options are limited. He does have two Reavers in the shuttle. Looks like, yep, his only option is to counter, but we do have a bunker here. Three Marines, tanks, turrets, very well fortified is light. And he can just retreat these units at any time. Reavers being unloaded. One dies instantly, one, but two tanks do go down. Snow messing up zealots. We have plus two weapons already on the way for light. Let's see, Snow hasn't had the time or resources to get any upgrades. There's that vessel. Snow's gonna, just going to retreat from that position. Mine's being laid area. Vulture going to bottom right. Again, these cannons don't protect the mineral line very well. But Snow finally blocking off. Much easier to deal with Vulture counters now. And Light's going to take that third base in between them. Very hard for Snow to ever attack this base. And a dropship being added into Light's army. And this will make it very easy to kill this Nexus now. It's like an attempt of a Zala bomb was tried and it was actually able to clean up some tanks. And it looks like Snow is going to be able to clear up this posi position. And now this third command center will be under threat. But Light is just repositioning his army. He's going to attack through the front. There's that dropship out finally. This command center is probably gonna, gonna be cancelled.
So again, taking his Nexus. His Nexus has died twice already. And Light in no rush. Light here knows he has that sh uh, drop chip. Can't throw in that Nexus at any time. Has to come in from this angle and then pivot. Doesn't want to scout it until the last moment possible. And Vultures will lay mine. This will buy even more time. And here comes the tank. We'll two shot that Nexus and then these probes will no longer be able to mine. Like even saving the units and very effective drop and Snow is in a big bind here. Looks like the command center was cancelled, but Light just rebuilding one at 12 o'clock. And like every gas in the middle, you can see it only has 3,000. Another Reaver being made for Snow. But his army isn't scaling properly compared to Light's. Light has two weapon upgrades. It's getting plus three. It's getting that third now. And Snow is still on gateway units with some reaver support, but these don't have any upgrades. He doesn't have any kind of splash other than that reaver. Well, he does have to worry about reavers harassing his third. His main and that were very secure, but now this third is a brand new base. He needs some defenses here as well. It's like Snow wants to attack this base. There's that shuttle getting targeted by the Goliaths. Instantly goes down, and so does the reaver. And Snow types that GG. Very well played by Light, even though he got duped by that early scout. He was just able to out multi test Snow, and using this path to attack Snow really opened up the game for him. Put Snow on the back foot. And then this third Nexus I thought would help Snow ended up becoming a weakness in Snow's position. And that was game one. We're gonna go off to game two now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.